an extra video. A little different from what I normally do, but I've been asked to do this quite a few times over the four year period, and I never have. And if you like this sort of video, that's probably too bad because I, I probably won't do another one like this uh, anytime soon. But I'm going to take a second and I'm going to go over the tools that I use, the ones that I like, the ones I don't like, and maybe, uh, maybe you'll get something out of this. I know Christmas is coming up, so if you have a renovation going on and you're holding off on some tools, maybe this will help you. Probably not. The first thing I need to do is come out and say that this is not a sponsored video, even though you see a sea of Milwaukee tools. Um, I don't know what would make you think that I'm sponsored by Milwaukee. <laughs> There's probably literally no reason why you would think that. Milwaukee tools. Why do I go with Milwaukee tools? Do I think they're the best tool made? Probably, I don't know, probably not. Uh, what I like about Milwaukee, and I have mentioned this in comments, is they have a five year warranty. And from what I know, at least from the research I did four years ago, five year warranty is the most you're gonna get out of tools. DeWalt I think is three, and so on and so forth. You know, they're all two to three years usually, but Milwaukee's five. And I've used that warranty two times, and both times, once was with my Saza, it quit working. I, I took it to the store with no receipt. Um, they go off the serial number and they sent it to Milwaukee. Milwaukee fixed it and they sent it back. Also with this drill, it quit working and I sent it to Milwaukee. Milwaukee sent me a brand new drill back because they couldn't repair the one that I had. I do have a little bit of yellow in this. I do like DeWalt tools. Uh, any DeWalt tool I've ever purchased has been pretty, pretty good, to be honest. But I did go with Milwaukee for the main reason, five year warranty. So what Milwaukee tools do I like the least? I would probably start right off with this jigsaw. It's not a very good tool. It, uh, it's not very accurate. This plastic thing on the bottom comes off very easily, and there's no light. And I know that seems silly to say that, like a light matters, but all of these tools have lights on them, like a little LED light, and when you can see what you're cutting, it's way better. And, uh, and of all the tools, this is the one you'd want to light with the most, and it doesn't have one. So I've thought about selling this tool and getting a jigsaw with a light because I just, I don't use that. I actually prefer to use my little uh, Black & Decker jigsaw over top of this one. The second one I like the least, I'm only gonna go two, is probably this little palm sander. I bought this with high hopes that this would be like a good sanding thing for me, but this cover pops off randomly. It's called a random orbital sander, so maybe that's why. But you'll be sanding, and then pops off, and all that fine dust goes everywhere. Um, and the only way you can avoid that is by putting tape around this. So, and, and yeah, so warranty, yeah, uh, maybe I can bring this back to Milwaukee to get like a new one, but I honestly, it's not something that's broken. It's just bad design. I think a lot of Milwaukee tools you could say are bad design, like my skill saw. So this is nice, this is a seven and a quarter inch skill saw, it has a lot of power, but this, uh, this little thing here goes loose, so a lot of times this will drop down like that. So every time you go to use it, I have to put that up and, and re-tighten this thing. And it's not a big deal, it's more annoying than anything. Um, and, and maybe I can tighten the screw now that I look at it. I see there's a little screw there that I probably can fix that. So those are the tools of Milwaukee, at least that I feel like haven't really lived up to their name. Oh, I should, the vacuum. This backpack vacuum cleaner is very disappointing. Uh, it probably would work great for big particles, 
But the minute you suck up anything fine, then it clogs the filter and it loses all suction. So it's a great filter, you know, it, it doesn't spit out a whole bunch of fine dust out the back of it, but I don't know, I gotta look to see if I can get a bag for it and a different type of filter. Because I have, like, when it's cleaned out, it works great, but I don't wanna have to clean that thing every 15 minutes, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. This uh, radio here, you guys know that I like to listen to music, I like music, so I got that radio with high hopes that it would, it's loud, it's a loud radio, it's really nice, but it's not Bluetooth. It was a, it was $210 or something. No battery came with it. And it's not Bluetooth. I've used it for a lot of things. My sister actually used it at her wedding, which is cool because you know, you put a battery in it, it runs for a long time and it's super loud, but you have to plug a phone into it. And if you're like me, you have an Apple phone. The Apple phone only has one plug-in, right? So I have to choose. Do I want to plug my phone into that, into that radio and have it play music, or do I want to plug it in and have it charge? Because it can't do both on one plug. But no Bluetooth. What is this, like 1995 Milwaukee? For what I paid for that, it should have Bluetooth. So... A little while ago, I went to my local store and I saw this. This is a DeWalt 20 volt. I could put a battery on this and it would be wireless. This 20 volt DeWalt uh, radio, it's not as loud as the Milwaukee, um, but it was also $65. And it has Bluetooth. So, Ever since buying this one, this is the one that's here. Uh, I bought one of those for my dad, actually, for, for something. I think I just bought it for him. I can't remember if it was for a present. It, it's way better than the Milwaukee. What else? Um, uh, noteworthy. A huge right angle drill. I bought this because I was going to be doing the plumbing and the electrical and I really wanted a powerful drill. This one's always been a little disappointing. I feel like when you put like a big three inch hole saw onto this and, and I want to eat through like a two by six, you'd think you'd be able to do it, but it kind of binds up. Um, and, and it's got this special, special, <laughs> special quick lock mechanism, which is really cool, and it is quick. <laughs> Such a good name. You could take special, <laughs> special Milwaukee tools and quick lock them in here. Click, 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 click. It's awesome. But when, but when you want to put any other drill bit in it, you can't. It only holds Milwaukee drill bits, which is okay, but Milwaukee drill bits are expensive. I was going to do the tools that I like the least and then do the tools that I like the most. And it's funny, I feel like I just went through 50% of these Milwaukee tools and why I don't like them. So now I'm going to talk about the ones I like. And this might shock you. The ones I like the most are pretty easy. The flashlights. Now, you don't necessarily see me use these a lot on video because, uh, you know, I just don't need them at this stage because I have lights in the house now. When I didn't have lights in the house, these were used the most, especially this one. This is the best, hands down, $100 flashlight you're ever going to buy. The batteries last forever and it is bright. Um, you have different settings and it's, it's heavy, but, you know, you can set it down the head angles different ways, which is really kind of handy. I've dropped this thing like 30 feet onto concrete. I've dropped it off roofs. I swear I've, I have beat this thing and it is amazing. So I love the flashlight. The flashlight, if you didn't know, it probably is one of the most important tools that you will purchase. This is a great Christmas gift because a lot of people don't want to spend $100 on a flashlight. Believe me, I didn't. But after I did, it's, it makes every tool better because you can see. I think that just makes sense. So yes, these are great. So Milwaukee's flashlight. Good job, Milwaukee. 
Um, another tool that I just got from Milwaukee that I'm finding that I really like is this little tiny router. This is just amazing. It's so light, so little. It's got a nice grip on it. And I use this for cutting out my door casings. I might use this for molding today, actually. It has a quarter inch shank on it for, for or quarter inch cullet, I guess you'd call it, for quarter inch shank bits, which is fine. I mean, this machine for my Powermatic is quarter inch also, and it, it works fine. Um, I really like that. And the skill saw I like, even though it has problems, it, it's still a very light, versatile tool that has a lot of power. I've used it a lot, and it's never let me down. And then last, lastly, I'll just quickly say the nailer. This has been really good. The issues with it, I'm okay with. It's very heavy. I mean, I would think that they could make this a lot smaller, but to have a 15 gauge electric nailer that can nail two and a half inch nails. So it's great for trim. I'm using it a lot lately and uh, I really, really like this. I think it's time to talk about my MVP tool, the tool that I like the most out of all tools that I have owned. And I've owned other tools than this. I've sold some because I don't use them. So I sold them because, you know, I like money sometimes more than a tool. Um, so drum roll, please. The MVP tool of, of the four years of renovating that I've done is this. I bought this years ago when I was sanding all of that old lumber for the walls and I didn't have a planer and you really wouldn't want to use a planer anyways because it would just ruin your planer blades as I found out once I got a planer. This sander, the model number is DW-E6401DS. Buy this sander. Well, hold on. This is not a very finessey kind of sander. This is not like this little tiny random orbital sander. This thing with 60 grit sandpaper, I'm not joking, could cut through a two by four in less than five minutes, I bet you. It's aggressive. When you are sanding with this, you gotta hold on to it. Cause it will, you know. And, uh, but when you wanna remove a lot of material, this thing, and I have beat this. I have used it so much, guys. I mean, you know how much old lumber I've used. This thing has never once let me down. And it has a great shroud. I don't have the shroud on there, but the shroud is amazing. And uh, you can hook it to dust collection. In fact, I could hook it to that Milwaukee vacuum and then maybe I'd like to vacuum a little bit more because to have this hooked to a uh, dust uh, shop vac, to have this hooked to a shop vac is a little inconvenient. So yeah, best tool I've ever had. So those are the hand tools that I have. I, I don't really want to talk about the other shop tools I have. Maybe there will be a different video for that. I mean, I didn't select these Powermatic tools for any other reason other than they were like a really, really good deal on, on Facebook Marketplace. Some tools that I did, I can show you, I guess. One tool that I use a lot, I luckily didn't have to purchase this, is this, this Blue Eddy. Uh, it's basically like a big battery bank and I'm finding that I use this a lot, but I think that's only special to me because I, you know, video everything, so I'm constantly charging batteries. I can charge my earbuds, you know, and uh, and I can plug the radio into that if I want to, and I can play the radio. It's pretty cool. I can actually, I can run the bandsaw off of this machine if I wanted to. Obviously, I, most of you know that I have this DeWalt planer. This thing has actually surprised me. It's 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 quite good. Oh, I forgot about this. If I don't buy a Milwaukee and I don't buy DeWalt, I usually buy Cobalt. So this is a really big tile saw. I have cut some really, really big tile with that that, that thing and it's it's really worked well. I wish it was cleaner. I feel bad just leaving it like that, but it's okay. Cobalt uh, air compressor, just got that not that long ago. That's been really good and uh, I, I, I like that. This is kind of thrown in the corner now, but this was the first table saw that I started with is this little cobalt collapsible job site table saw. And you know, 
I can't say anything bad about this. I really like it. And for the price, it's like $250. I mean, I, I don't think you'll find a cheaper one. I think lastly is uh, the DeWalt chop saw. This is a 12 inch chop saw. I replaced a really, really, really crappy Craftsman. So this thing, every time I use it, I love it. It's very accurate. It never fails me, it has a lot of power. And it's way better than a broken Craftsman chop saw. That will be the conclusion of my tool review. What, did you get anything out of it? I really won't probably do this again because there'd be no reason to. And I don't think I'm an expert on this sort of thing. It's, uh, I'm just not an expert on this sort of thing. Oh, I didn't really talk about it. This Paslo nailer is amazing. It's a framing nailer. Uh, I feel so bad that people have to use, um, what are they called? Hammers. I'm so sad that people have to use hammers, or I guess had to. I think most people have this type of thing now, either this or something that runs on air. When you can simply plug in a battery and a little gas thing and shoot a nail that easily, this has probably been one of the most used tools and it's, it's bulletproof. Okay, so that's it. That's really it this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, uh, I would love to know your thoughts. If you have a good, you know, if you have good luck with a different type of tool brand, let me know. I really can't switch at this point because I'm so deep on the Milwaukee M18 stuff. But if you, if you have any suggestions on different Milwaukee tools that you maybe didn't see here, I would love to um, satisfy my addiction with buying a different tool, I'm sure, so just let me know. And maybe I'll pick it up and try it out. But that's it. So thanks for watching. And there will be a, a normal video Wednesday of, of what I did this weekend. But I wanted to throw something out there a little extra because Christmas is coming up. And for someone doing renovations or someone that likes tools, maybe this was helpful. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? <laughs> Bye, everybody.